We've all seen the pictures, rivers just a former shadow of themselves. Dry riverbeds, low levels, rocky streams. In Colorado, it's mostly all about the snow. There needs to be enough of it, and it needs to melt slowly enough to provide water well into the summer. Water affects nearly everything. It's what we drink, it's what we grow crops with, it's what we make electricity from. It's what we play in. And because of climate change, there's a lot less of it. We have every reason to believe that at the very least, there's going to be a lot more evaporation from the system. So water just lost back to the atmosphere as the climate warms. And even if you don't change the precipitation falling in the mountains at all, that is likely to significantly reduce water resources. Because of warming and drought, giant reservoirs on the Colorado River, like Lake Powell, are at their lowest levels in years. The so-called bathtub ring shows just how far the water has fallen. Millions of people in Colorado and other western states rely on the Colorado for their water, so obviously something needs to be done. At the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, scientists like Ethan Gutman are not only looking for ways to slow down climate change, but also ways for people in power to mitigate its effects. It's providing some of the baseline guidance that water managers need, that policymakers need, that everybody who wants to live here needs, whether they use it directly or not, so that we can live in a more resilient system and we don't get thrown for a loop 30 years in the future when <laughs> we run out of water. Uh, I don't think we will, but there, there's gonna be changes we have to be ready for. In a perfect world, Colorado's reservoirs fill up nicely every spring and the water lasts until winter. The rivers and streams are full and there's plenty of water to go around. But scientists know that's not happening. And what to do about it can lead to a lot of difficult decisions. Building a new dam is A, incredibly expensive, and B, it, it destroys a part of the, the mountains that we love. Right? That, that's a large part of why I'm in Colorado. I love the mountains. Um, and I don't want to see another valley filled up with water, but I also want to have water to drink. What to do about water shortages in the future is going to depend on cooperation between states, water districts, power companies, recreational planners, and farmers and ranchers. It's no doubt going to be difficult, but absolutely necessary, as will be all of us taking climate change more seriously and working toward solutions.